Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over TF Lite, both setting it up and the use cases. First things first, you're going to want to download both the FTC app, if you don't already have it, as well as our GitHub repository for this tutorial. It's, both those links should be down in the description. After you have those installed, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your FTC app master app, and then head on over to team code, java, org.firstinspires.ftc.teamcode. Then you're going to head over to your downloads folder, find the first FTC app master, and then as well as the tutorial. Then you're going to go ahead, go ahead and go in, find the vision class. Inside you'll see all the all three of the main classes as well as the example. You're going to want to copy that, and then head on over back to the FTC app master. Inside there, you're just going to, going to go all the way down to the team code directory, SFC main java org first inspires ftc and then team code in there you're going to want to paste the vision code and then go back to your ide there in the vision folder you'll find a master vision tf light and sample randomizer as well as an example we're going to go ahead and open it open up the example and in here you'll find everything you need to actually run your code and get the mineral positions and all that in this class, you'll see all the little switch statements as well as the initialization routines and all that. I'm going to go ahead and close all the uh, all those little other windows just so you can see everything. So on the top there, you'll see a master vision, uh, vision, and then sample random randomized position, and then you'll see the initialization routines for Vuforia. In there, you'll see the Vuforia localizer patterns, the camera camera direction. Uh, we definitely recommend the back camera since it's a lot easier to recognize things since it's a lot uh, better graphics. Then you'll want to enter your license key as shown in here. And then uh, you're going to want to add your vision equals new master vision, which uh, the master vision is the class that we use for TF Light. The next thing to keep in mind is something called infer right, infer left, and infer none. And this is a function that basically tells TF Light whether you're looking for min the two minerals on the right, two minerals on the left, or all three. Uh, we recommend using one of either infer right or infer left because uh, when you're checking for all three minerals, if one of them is, let's say, out of the frame completely, or one of them is half in, half out, then it won't be able to detect the position of the minerals. Something to keep in mind is that infer right does not immediately correlate with uh, the right two minerals. It actually correlates with the left two minerals. And same thing with infer left. It correlates infer left correlates with the uh, two right minerals. And then you're going to call uh, vision init and vision enable. Now vision init enables the camera overlay, as you can see in the comments. That comment there that basically allows you to see uh, what everything's like where all the minerals are and what their position is and what the TF light can actually recognize. And then vision enable uh, allows, just pretty much enables all the tracking algorithms. And then uh, right after wait for start, you're gonna wanna do uh, vision disable. It basically just completely disables the vision tra tracking algorithm before the tele -op, or before the autonomous actually starts. Now that's actually really important because if you don't call that, it's going to continue running the algorithm throughout the entire code, and this might slow down your autonomous dramatically. Then inside your, the op mode, you'll see a switch statement in the example. This is for getting the position of the gold, either being left, center, right, or unknown. If it's unknown, then you've got an issue and you can't see all the minerals, and then if any of the other ones are true, then it will return as well. Inside those, you'll be able to put all of your code for running your autonomous, as well as uh, what might happen if there's you can't see any of them, what happens if it's on left, center, right, etc, etc. Now that you can see how to use TF Lite, we're going to talk about some things to keep in mind for maximum success. The first thing to keep in mind is you cannot use ZTE speeds. Uh, the main reason for that is because they don't go up to the high enough Android version. They go to 4.4 KitKat, and the minimum required is Android uh, 5.0. Normally, in the example class, there would be a little bit of telemetry explaining that. Uh, as soon as you start your 
program, it would tell you whether or not your phone can support DF Lite. But uh, we actually have we actually removed this in our example, so you won't be able to find that there. Just keep in mind that ZTE speeds just won't work. Period. And the next thing is TF Lite uses a lot of your res your phone's resources. So uh, what I mean by this is that it uses a lot of your CPU, making it so then all of the other tasks you have in your autonomous uh, take longer to run. So we recommend running TF Lite in the beginning in initialization. And our example shows that. Uh, you can see that we enable and disable before the autonomous even starts. This allows you to have pretty much everything running beforehand and keeping everything clear for the actual autonomous and your code itself to run smoother, easier, and more effectively. Because TF Lite uses a lot of the phone's resources, you want to use a legal phone with really good specs. We recommend the Moto E4 because it has a great camera, great processor, and supports 5 GHz. And last but no means least, the shameless plug. Down in the description, you guys will find links to our social media as well as our Discord. And our Discord, we're available to answer any questions you might have about TF Lite or pretty much anything else FTC, FTC related. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.